In this video, we are going to discuss electronic mail. Electronic mail that is email is the exchange of computer stored messages by the telecommunication links. And email messages are usually encoded in ASCII text. And non ASCII text files that is a non text files such as they say graphics say some sound files can also be treated as an attachment to this mail but they will be in the binary stream. Email can also be exchanged between online service provider users and in networks other than the internet for both public and private. So, within the organization also we can write mails and obviously we can also send our mail in the public using internet. So, email can be distributed to list of people as well as to a single individual. So, list of people can be can be accessed sending a single mail to all of them in one shot otherwise we can send it individually. A shared distribution list can be managed by using an email reflector. Some mailing lists allow us to subscribe by sending a request to the mailing list administrator. So, we will be sending one request to mailing list administrator to access or to subscribe a mailing list to whom we are supposed to send our mail in one shot. A mailing list that is administered automatically is also called a list server. User agent in short we shall call it as UA. The first component of an electronic mail is the user agent UA. It provides service to the user to make the process of sending and receiving a message easier. User agent is a software package that composes reads, replies to and forwards messages. It also handles mailboxes. So, user agent is nothing but a software module which will do all these activities that is a reading the message, replying the message, forwarding the message and also to handle the mailboxes. So, here we are having the respective operations that user agent can do. So, there is a composing messages, replying to the messages, handling the mailboxes, forwarding messages and reading messages. Email address. To deliver mail, a mail handling system must use an addressing system which is unique the address should be unique. So, that is why there should not be any, should not be any conflict or ambiguity. In the internet the address consists of two parts a local part and a domain name separated by the at the rate of symbol. So, there is a local part and there is a domain name they will get separated by the at the rate of symbol. So, this local part is address of the mailbox on the mail server and this domain part is the, the domain name of the mail server. So, now we are going for the individual discussion at first we are starting with the local part. The local part defines the name of a special file called the user mailbox where all the mail received for a user is stored for retrieved by the message access agent. So, that is our local part. Now, what about this domain name? The second part of the address is the domain name part An organization usually selects one or more hosts to receive and send email. The hosts are sometimes called the mail server or exchangers. The domain names assigned to each mail exchanger either comes from the DNS database or is a logical name for example, the name of an organization. So, we are having such say uh, such mail IDs are there something like say abcd at the rate of mnop.com. So, this mnop.com is the domain name and that abcd is known as the local part. Mailing list. Electronic mail allows one name and alias to represent several different email addresses and this is called a mailing list. So, one name and their multiple mail IDs are there in between within that particular name against that particular name and that is known as the mailing list. So, electronic mail allows one name and alias to represent several different email addresses. Every time a message is to be sent the system checks the recipient's name against the alias database 
if there is a mailing list for for the defined alias then separate messages one for each entry in the list must be prepared and handled to the mta so whenever we are having multiple email addresses in the mailing list and whenever we are trying to send one message to all those uh, email addresses mentioned in the mailing list then for individually each and every email address the message will be composed and that will be sent so it is telling that every time a message is to be sent the system checks the recipient's name against the alias database if there is a mailing list for the defined alias then separate message one for each entry in the list must be prepared and handled to the mta if there is no mailing list for the alias the name itself is the receiving address and a single message is delivered to the mail transfer entity so in this way we have discussed that what is electronic mail what are its different functionalities and what are the different ways of sending one mail thanks for watching this video tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning